With all the technology and features aside, customers and prospects may ask, what's it going to take to get started? Is it easy to learn a new solution like this? And how do we streamline the experience to get started? This section is designed to address and allay those concerns by demonstrating how to set up a new company, get started and learn, and migrate data into Dynamics 365 Business Central. In this scenario, we'll show you how to set up a new company, how to get started and learn, and migrate business data. So first, let's go ahead and in the search menu, select on companies. And you see I've got some existing companies already configured, but let's just assume we're going to go ahead and create a new company from scratch. I'll select the wizard next. I'll enter in the company. In this case here, I'll call it Kronos USA subsidiary. And then I'll select next and finish. And now that I've set up the company, I need to configure that company. And the wizard again helps to automate some of the common tasks such as address, accounts, tax, bank, etc. I'll select on next, put in my phone number, email, and home page, determine whether I want to invoke the bank feed service, or I can go ahead and set that up later. I'll select yes for a moment. I can choose my bank. And then if I go ahead and put in my account information, my credentials to connect that service, it'll bring in that data. I'm going to cancel out since I don't have access to a real Chase account. And then I'll select my fiscal year, determine my cost method for my inventory valuation, FIFO, LIFO, etc. We'll just leave it at FIFO and I'll select next. And that's it. And so now the company has been set up. I've got zero, I don't have any data in here, right? But um, I can go ahead and begin to access some of the additional sistered setup wizards to streamline the areas that I need or how to discuss how to get started. So in terms of getting started, back here on the homepage, just scroll down. And this screen may change over the course of when you get to demonstrate it, but you'll notice that there are links under the business assistance and I can select getting started with Dynamics 365. And you'll notice here that I've got all the links to either read from the online help, or if I wanted to watch, you could see the embedded video, or there were uh, tutorials, etc., that follow along in that process. So very simple and easy to learn. The last step is let's migrate data. All right, so I've learned how to migrate by watching that embedded video, and I'm ready to begin the process of importing data such as general ledger accounts, customers, vendors, and items. And I'm going to use that via the Excel template that was provided to me from Business Central. So under the Assisted Setup menu, you'll see here, now that I've completed the status of setting up my company, I want to migrate my business data. I'll select Next. Now from the drop down menu, you'll be a number of different options, both from Microsoft, as well as third party apps from AppSource to help import that data. I'm just gonna use the Excel template. I'll select next. And if you're wondering to me, well, how did you get that template? Right here's the button to download it. I'll select next. I'll choose my file. And here is MLB data import. Let's take a look. So I didn't bring in any GL accounts, but I did bring over 10 customers, three vendors, and nine items, and I'll migrate that. I get a confirmation, and now I'm finished. And just to confirm, I'll select on the customers. See, I've got my customers. I'll select on my vendors, and then items. And again, the goal of this demonstration was to show you how to set up a company, get started, learn how to use the application, and then apply that knowledge to perform tasks such as migrate the business data.